All right, so what are the best settings for filter keys, ones that I personally use? And I answered some of your questions from my most viewed video. Let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Migs, and if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you already know what filter keys are and you have it downloaded. If you have not downloaded it, go ahead and check out my last video on filter keys. I'll have it somewhere on the screen or in the description down below. Go ahead and check that out. I talk about what filter keys are and how to download it, things like that. It is my most viewed video. Go ahead and check that out and then come back here. But just in case, a quick summary on filter keys. Filter keys is already built into Windows 10, Windows 11. It's already built in. What this program does, it helps you get to those settings. Basically, it helps you adjust those settings without going through all the steps you would have to take through Windows and all that. So it's a really big benefit. And filter keys, again, it helps remove that keyboard input delay, input lag that comes from the factory whenever you buy a keyboard. Um, it's very beneficial. It helps out a lot. A lot of the big YouTubers, you know, pro gamers use it. It does help out quite a bit. And it doesn't just have to be for Fortnite. I know I mostly play Fortnite on this channel. It doesn't just have to be for Fortnite. It could be you know, Fortnite, Call of Duty, it could even be for Spider-Man. As long as you want that competitive edge, filter keys is for you. So first things first, I wanna jump into the Q&A section of this video. Again, that is my most viewed video and there's a lot of questions on filter keys and I'm here hopefully to answer most of them and just get them out the way all in one video. Hopefully this video helps you out. So, can this work for controller? I got this question a few times, no. This cannot work for controller. It is only for keyboard, okay? Uh, there is something for mouse, and I'll make that video soon. Probably my next video, I don't know. But I'll make a video on that, and it's what I use too. I, it complements filter keys perfectly, and it's something I use, and I know a lot of pro players use it too. Look out for that video. But this does not work for uh, controller. Sorry. Uh, let's see here. Can it be detected as a macro? It's not really how he puts it here. It says, do not, I repeat, do not put it less than 120 because Fortnite will kick you from the game and have a chance to ban you. Okay, lots of things to unpack with this, I guess with this quote, it's not really a question. Fortnite will not pick it up as a macro, number one. Number two, Fortnite will not ban you for using this, uh, for using filter keys. It's built into Microsoft. It is, it is perfectly safe. I have scoured the internet, scoured the internet for anyone who's been banned for using filter keys or even for using macros it's not a thing. People are nervous to use it, understandably, uh, but you will not get banned for using filter keys, okay? Fortnite's rules and guidelines are very vague on this situation, so I get it, but it hasn't happened yet. I don't think it's ever gonna happen if it, has, if it hasn't happened yet. So trust me, you're safe, it's gonna be okay. Is it legal? I think that goes with, is it, you know, bannable? It is legal. It already comes with your computer. It just helps you out with that input delay on your keyboard. It's not a cheat cannot get banned for it trust me okay how do i revert and that's that's a great question um it's something that i do i have to do all the time because while i am using filter keys i mainly use it for gaming but when i go you know, to type an email or, or type something a password whatever it is because i have it so sensitive it will mess it up so i have to go into filter keys click default down at the bottom and then apply it hit okay and then i'm able to type normally just like the keyboard just arrived from the store that's how it's gonna be and then when i want to go back to gaming i'll put it to where i had it and bada bing bada boom right back to where i had it all right back to gaming back to being insane so here's a great question wouldn't just putting everything wouldn't just putting everything on zero give you the most responsive game no trust me when i tell you it's a complete nightmare don't do that. Um, I have pretty good settings. Just hold on a second. I'll show you my settings. They're a little bit more extreme than the ones I showed you in my original video. But if you can handle them, they're good. And just make sure when you're going to do something else besides gaming, you go into filter keys, you hit default, and you know, you'll know you have a better time. Trust me on that. Uh, make a video for a PlayStation 5 filter keys. I'm sorry, that's not a thing. You cannot put filter keys. At the time of making this video, filter keys does not work for your PlayStation 5. I'm sorry, I wish I could change that. I don't have that power. I didn't come up with filter keys. Hopefully one day it'll happen and you can use your PS5 with filter keys and have a better time, all right? I think that's it for the Q&A section. Let's go into my settings and things that, you know, this is how I use filter keys, all right? Let's go ahead, let's jump into that. 
All right, so here we are. These are my filter keys settings, how I use it. I have my repeat delay at 125 and my repeat rate at 25, okay? That's just me tinkering with it, playing around with it, and kind of my best feel. And this is mostly what I use in every game, Fortnite, um, Call of Duty, whatever it is. This, this is what works best for me. Um, and I think it might work best for you too. So um, sometimes I'll change this to 20. That helps out too. So, I mean, let's say I wanted to type, you know, D. I'm barely pushing down. You know, I can do it one at a time or I can hold it down and do that, All right? Uh, 25, fly, okay, oops. At 25, see, I hold it down. It happens so much faster. This is the delay right here. And if you watched my last video, you know what, what's going on here. See? That's, that's why I like to put it at 25. Basically, um, it helps with the slide that I do on Fortnite and, and things like that. I just, I just like it at 25. 125 and 25 are, is my sweet spot. Sometimes I might put this at 135 if I just wanna um, you know, play with it. 145, 125. I never go really below 125. That's kind of where I keep it. So the reason I, I really don't go below 125 is because these settings are already kind of crazy. What I mean by that is, um, let's say you're in Fortnite and you push escape to go to your menu, right? You want to change your, your sensitivity. Well, with this, with already it being so responsive, pushing escape, it'll double push it sometimes. And if you go below 125, it'll really start double pushing it and you won't be able to go to escape or you know do some other um, things in a game that might want you to hold or something like that it, it gets really it gets really tricky uh, luckily i've done it long enough to where i have muscle memory so i know how hard to push my key and how, you know when it's responsive and when it's not so just be you know be aware of that the the lower you put the repeat delay the more obviously the more sensitive it's going to be and the probability of you not being able to do certain things gets higher and higher okay so that's why i i kind of keep it at 125 and the repeat rate at 25 to 20. Uh, it's already kind of very responsive right there. To go any more than that, I mean, you really have to know what you're doing, all right? But, you know, let me know if these settings help you out as well. I think if you stick with it, it'll help you out. It definitely does help me out quite a bit, okay? Oh, and, and one of the main questions I got is how do I, how do I uninstall, how do I remove filter keys? Which is a great question. Again, filter keys is built into your windows 10 11 whichever one you're running but if i was to uninstall it this is how i would go about uninstalling it okay i would hit default i would save to registry i would hit apply i would hit okay from there i would hit Control alt delete i have to keep it open open it up from here i would go from i would hit Control alt delete task manager i would find filter keys i would go down to where it says open file location from here i will delete it i'm not going to delete it because it's not what i want to do i want to keep it but that's how i would do it right it's back to its default it's back to how it is like when you first bought your keyboard that's how it is you delete it you know what fine i'll delete it yep oh, okay it cannot be deleted because the file is open so close it out delete it are you sure you want to remove file it's like yes and it's deleted okay kind of took me a while kind of messed it up but it's deleted and so now you go down here look at that shortcut refers you know you can fix it delete it you know all that it's no longer there basically so that's how i would go about deleting it if you really want to delete it i hope this video helps you out and as far as that aspect, if you're one of those people that really want to delete it, leave me any questions you have down below on this. I love to help. If I can help you, I will. I will try. I'll try to find the answers if I can. All right, guys. If this video helped you out at all, please feel free to leave me a like and subscribe if you're new so you can keep getting great information just like this. But only leave me a like and subscribe if you actually like what you're watching. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out.